Hi there, this is Nyako. Welcome to OB Studios. In today's video, let's look at how to use one container to create this hero section. Okay, so first let's add our main container, which will be in a row section. So this is for creating designs that are in a column section, and this is for creating design that is in a row section. We are going to use um, the one that is in the row section because we want to use wraps. Um, wraps will give us um, more, uh, more flexibility in laying out our designs rather than using the column. So we're going to click on the row. Okay, so let me show you again the design that we are trying to achieve. So guess by yourself, um, can you create this without adding more containers? Or you can create this with just one container. I want to tell you that you can use just one container to create this. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, first and foremost, we have an image element. So let's go in and then put in our image element. The next thing we need to do is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we have um, seven text elements and then one button. So let's go in and add seven text element. So we're just going to duplicate this two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have a button. Well, okay, this is that. Great. Okay, so as you can see, all these elements are now stacked against each other. We now have to break them down so that they will be in the formation that we want. And from the formation, you can see that we have three of these texts, um, three of these elements at the top. So let's do that first. How do we get these first three elements to, to be at the top? And the rest of these ones to be on the bottom. Probably you might be guessing we should use a container to put the first three in um, the, uh, in the top section and then the rest of these items below. But I can tell you that you don't have to do that. So first, let's make this top three be at the top. To do that, I can just make one change. I can click on this element. So I want to break um, this section here. When it reaches here, I want this element to go to the next line. What would you do? You can use what Elementor has in a container called wraps. So as you can see, as soon as I clicked on the wrap, elements start moving to the next line. So you can see that the text elements have now moved to this line because this image has taken the whole 100% width of this container. We don't want that to happen. We want this image to only be at a certain width. So we're going to come over here and then say, okay, we want this to only be probably fifth, sorry, 15%. So as soon as I did 15%, you can see that the, the three elements over here have now come together and they are now stacked against each other, but we are still not done. We need to put in the text to make sure that everything fits together. And this image itself is a circle. We can do that by using the mask um, feature when you go to the advanced section of Elementor. So that is for this. Now we need the elements to be centered. So we're going to click on the container, the main container, and then come down to align elements or align items and click on center. So everything is now centered over here. Now let's go in and then do for the next one. Okay, you can see that this this one, this text, this text element has covered the hundred percent width of the container. How do you achieve that? We can do that by clicking on this and say, okay, probably let's make the text become bigger. As soon as we make it big and it fills the whole width of the container, the next item goes to the next line. So I don't know if you can see where we're going by increasing and decreasing the size of an element. The next element after it goes to the next line. That is because we have the wrap on. If let's say we say no wrap, 
then this happens. It doesn't matter how long or how big the next element is, the element that comes before it will not go to the next line. So by using this wrap feature, it gives you more flexibility to align your items the way that you want without you using so many containers. Because from my previous video, as you can see, I showed you how to use more containers to create complex designs. But it always doesn't have to be that way. Sometimes you can just use your element and then you can also use wrap to create an amazing design. And that is what we're trying to do today. So this one is on the next line. The next thing is to have another three items be on the next line. How can we do that? You can say, okay. Um, remember that Elementor has 20% space um, all around here. And that is something that they do for some reason. But what we can do is that we can go in here and say, okay, and this element should be 33%. The next one should also be custom 33%. And then this element can start, we can start making this element big. As you can see, now it has gone to that line. It's not breaking yet, so we can keep increasing it. Okay, so this element can only be 29%. The reason why this element can only be 29% is because of the 20 pixels that is in between um, these elements. If I am to close the 20 pixel that is between them, then I can use the 33, 33, 33 that makes up the 100%, but we can do that. And then, um, oh, before we even do that, another text should also be um, this text that we have this text over here that is, it looks like a full length text, but you can see that the, um, the length of the text itself doesn't cover the whole container so what is happening so I'm, I'm going to show you that so let's say this text is you can say 100% as soon as we we change it with 200% even though the text itself does not does not cover the entire container this text has still taken the whole width why because we have said that the width of this text should be 100% so that is that and then the text is in the middle so the next thing is to work on, to make sure this text comes over here. We can do that by going to um, advance, looking for width and then changing this to custom and making this, remember it's 29. So 29 for that. The next thing is to, ha um, is to fix this particular one. This button is in the middle. So someone will say, okay, probably let's go in here and say content middle. We can do that. But as you can see, this, this content is not specifically in the middle. There is space in between here and there. So what I did was not to make this center. Uh, we can do self align. So it's to take this element, go to advance, and then click on full width. So by clicking on full width, this element now has taken the full width of the container. So we can just click on it, go to the element itself and say, make a center. So that is how you are able to design this particular design that I have over here without touching or without using so many containers. Because I could have said that let's use one container for the top section. Then we can use the text here. Then we can use another container and then stack these elements against each other, which would have given you more divs. And when you have more divs, Google will sometimes penalize you. So instead of doing that, we just use wraps to create that same design without ever touching um, more than one container. So let's go in and then let's um, let's style, let's add the text and style this and see what will happen. So there's an image. Oh, using this image, going here, this text says what? I just need this to, I can copy the text. So the text is this. I can see we need to break this text down from here. 
one, two, third one is three. And the next text is new. Go in and copy new. That is new. Okay. Um, before I even go in, let's let's find out what font I am using here. Okay, it's called major. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and then find major before I even do anything. Okay, major. Uh, I'm gonna go in, copy it, copy this, uh, paste the styles on them. too all right so let's keep styling it uh, we're gonna get there um, let's say front here is 16 um, new should be big as big as that um, next one is um, container wrap copy that come in here find the front uh, let's start making this thing big Okay, it can go up to this side. Next then is freedom to create. Go in, find freedom to create, paste it over there. Um, this text should be a bit big, not too big. Go to advanced, make sure you make this into full width. And then you can align this to the middle. Next text says, founded in 2016. So this is this. I can come in and say found that 2016 freedom. Let me see how this text is laid out. Okay. Found that freedom to create. Um, next one is this. Okay, so we found this text. Go in here, paste it. Um, so I think that starts from inside you. So this breaks and then this is what breaks down. And then next text is established in 2002. Okay, so that's this. Go in and then paste that. Okay, so uh, we are still not done. I think this is good. This needs a bit of work. Uh, before we even do that, we can change the size of the text to probably a 16. Make this one also into 16. See now, things are looking well. Uh, we've got in here, so okay, we want this to cover a bit of three uh, we can change this into probably a 20 then we can also go into advanced here start make this one to 100 percent then put this in the middle um come here say a solid of 10 um this uh a 50 remove this whole thing um, let's fix um, a little of the background. Let's put a black over here and then put a gray here. Mm, why don't we white at the top? Let me see what the background is. Okay, so this and then that. I just want to copy the background colors. Okay, this is a blue and then the top as this i think there's an overlay uh, you're probably that on it okay so i'm going to add a bit of pattern to the top it's a pattern of 100 oh and the bottom two is 100 and then we turn, have to change the color of the text to white 
I think that has a stroke of uh, a stroke of black of two. Probably the one. A stroke of black or two. I think a stroke of one. Hmm. Okay, so the color of the text is, is that the color of the text is this. So it's a kind of black. And then the stroke of the text is the white. But mm, okay, we're gonna leave it like that. Go in here, make this into a white. Um, go in here and also make this into a white. Go in here. Into the white. Well, the colors might not be the same, but I, I hope you can see where we're going with this. And then uh, join the freedom. Just click here and say join the free. Join the freedom. Mm, yeah. Okay. I think pardon was it's the forty. Prompt padding was not there. Let's see what the pattern is on this one particularly. Um, design. Okay, 50, 50. And then the text is 36. Okay, so that's what it's giving it. Um, so let's put a 36 over here. All right. So you can see that with just one container, you are able to create a design without you using probably because over here we could have used as i said we can use two or three containers to try and achieve this but with wraps and with a con and with uh, elementor's new container you are able to make this um this kind of designs without you adding um more divs uh, more containers to a section to create a design that you really do not need to do um i hope this was informative if you have any question you can leave it down below um, I will try and answer them. And as always, uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, I'm new to YouTube. I'm trying to build um, my channel up so you can subscribe and then you can like the video uh, to make sure that YouTube is also able to send this to other people who might be interested. Thank you for watching. This is Nyako from OB Studios.